Let me show you exactly how to record yourself and your screen using Zoom step-by-step -step, and where to find your recording after. Hey, it's Arit here from Estatino Media and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. And as we dive in today's video, I'm gonna share four steps with you. The first step is checking your Zoom recording settings. The second step, I'll show you how to start your recording on Zoom. The third step, I'll show you how to share your screen while you're recording. And the fourth step is where I'll show you where to download it. So let's dive in. First thing you need to do is log into your Zoom account. And you can do this recording with a free uh, account as well. It doesn't have to be a paid account. I have a paid account. And what that allows me to do is, among many things, but in particular for recording, is it allows me to save the recordings to a cloud, meaning I don't always have to download it to my computer. So if that piece is important to you, having uh, at least five gigs of storage on the cloud. So as soon as you're done recording, it sits in Zoom's cloud when you can download it at any time or do whatever you want with it. You can store it there so it doesn't bog down the your computer storage. So that's the main difference. First thing you wanna do after logging in is go into settings and go into where it says recording. Now, this is important. You wanna make sure you set this up first before you're recording, because otherwise the recording that you're gonna get at the end is not gonna be what you want. So as you're scrolling down here, you wanna make sure that you have this turned on. So record to computer files. And if you do have a paid account, you have that cloud recording piece, you wanna have that turned on as well, just so you have both options available to you. The other thing you wanna make sure you have is check this box that says record active speaker with shared screen. So this means when you hit record, it's going to record you as the active speaker. And if you do have a shared screen, it will also record that into one video file. If you wanna record yourself and your screen as separate video files, then what you wanna do is check this box. Make sure this is checked. And, and just to give you an example of why you might want that is maybe you're handing off this footage to a video editor who wants to feature you on screen sometimes fully and then switch to just the, uh, the, the shared screen piece um, and maybe some options as well where you're overlaid on top of the shared screen. So this allows for your video editor to play with a, with a different type of video editing layout. But if you wanna keep it simple, you just want a recording that gives you the shared screen with you off to the side, then this is all you need is just to have this box checked right here. The other thing to keep in mind as well, if you are hosting this call with another person, you're doing, let's say, an interview style and you want the audio file uh, for yourself to be separate for your guest, then you wanna make sure this box is checked right here. If it's just gonna be you, you don't have to worry about that. You can just make sure this box is checked to record the audio and it'll give you one audio just for you speaking. The last setting box that you need to have checked is this one. I highly recommend checking this box uh, where it says optimize the recording for a third party video editor. What this does is it increases the quality of the recording. So again, you know, it'll make it less blurry, less pixelated, and you wanna make sure this is checked and you're gonna hit save. It will take longer to download the file, but you know, depending on what you're doing with that file, let's say you wanna publish it to your YouTube channel and you wanna make sure you have a good recording, then it would be good to check this off. Okay, so now let's go in and show you how to start the recording. So first thing you wanna do is open or start a new meeting. I'm gonna click over here where it says host. I'm gonna click on with video on. What it will do is it will open up a Zoom meeting and I'm just going to turn both of these off because I'm currently using the webcam and the mic right now to film this video tutorial for you. You're not gonna do this, you're gonna leave them as checked, so leave them open and you want to select your camera, make sure it's set to the right webcam. If you don't see the webcam on here, you wanna make sure it's plugged into the USB port on your laptop, and then you'll need to refresh this. So close it out, 
go back into Zoom and click on host with a new, new meeting with a video and come back in here. Do the same thing with the mic. Make sure it's set to your external mic. And I do typically recommend if you want good quality audio is to have an, some sort of external mic. USB usually is what I use, this USB microphone right here, uh, because typically the recording from the, the microphone on the laptop that's gonna record your audio isn't great quality. So you wanna choose your mic from here and then you wanna click start and it will take you into the Zoom room where if your video is on, you're going to see yourself, right? And before you hit record, this is where you can decide how you want to appear in the recording, right? So if it's just gonna be you talking to the camera, this is all you need. It's gonna make you full screen. If you want it to be you and the shared screen, you're gonna click on this right here that says share, and then you'll choose, maybe you have a PowerPoint slide that you're gonna see over here, or you wanna just show your entire screen. You can do that as well. Uh, I'm just gonna click on this right here to share this, and I'm gonna click share. So you can see that it is sharing my screen. And to select the layout, for your recording before you record is to come over here to this little downward arrow where it says you are sharing your screen and then click on this pencil icon. When you go in here, this is where you can see the different layouts. So if I was on camera, you'd see me in full right here and you can even adjust how big or small you can be on here, um, which is a cool feature. You can move it around to the other side. It's up to you how you wanna display it. There's other options as well, where it will show the screen, not full screen like this, but it'll take up about 80% of the screen with you off to the side. And again, you can adjust how big or small you are over here. And then there's this option here where it's equally 50-50. So it's showing you on screen a half of the screen and then it's showing whatever you're sharing on the other half. Now, if you are showing something on screen that is, that, that's gonna be playing sound, let's say you're showing something on screen that's a video, then you wanna make sure you click on share sound because otherwise we won't be able to hear the sound that's coming from your screen. It will just be recording the sound of you speaking. So that's another important piece to keep in mind. So once you've done that, you can hit share and then you can start your recording. Now to do the recording, you go to more and then record and select record to this computer. Now I like to, even though I do have the cloud option, I use the cloud for recording meetings. Like if after the meeting I wanna share it with a client, I can easily send them the link without having to download and re-upload. But for situations like this, like maybe I'm recording myself in Zoom to let's say use as a YouTube video. I don't do that, I, I use a different software, but let's say if I were to do that, it's better to get the actual file, the full file, and have it recorded to your computer so that you can then go and take that file and upload it to wherever you need. So this is the option I would recommend selecting, record to this computer. Recording in progress. You're gonna hear it say recording in progress, and then I'm muted because I'm using the mic right now to record this video. So you won't necessarily see this. And then you can go about your presentation, speaking to the camera, showing whatever you're showing on screen, and it will record all of it for you. At any point in time as well, you can switch between the layout. So you don't have to stay in this layout forever. You can, let's say you wanna switch to just you being on screen, maybe for the end of the video, then you can do that. You can come in here and click share and it'll just switch back to that. So you can toggle between the different layouts in the recording. Once you're done, you're going to hit stop share, and then you're going to click stop recording. Recording stopped. What will happen in order for you to download that recording is you need to end the meeting. So it won't start downloading the file for you or the recording until you're, you're ending the meeting. So I'm gonna do that right now. You're gonna hover over here and click end, end meeting for all. And you see here, it says converting the meeting recording. So 
it's going to take some time, especially if you chose to optimize the recording uh, for third party software for video editing later. But once this is done, it's going to go to your uh, whatever folder you save it to. So it's going to ask you, where do you want to save this file? I typically just save everything either on my desktop or in the downloads folder. Uh, so let's go to, let's just do it on desktop. That makes it easy. So you're going to find that, that uh, location and then click on OK. And then it's going to open up the file for you. So this is my file here. Um, it's it's unnamed. So typically by default, it'll say video and then a bunch of numbers after it. So keep that in mind. It might be hard to find, especially if you have a lot of different files on your desktop, but you can click on this and you can rename it however you like. And let's click on it and see what we see. All right. So you see here, the recording is the 50 50 mode that we started off with and you know when we wanted to switch into a different mode it switched to just the screen and then again just me on the screen it also gave me just want to show you a separate audio file for this video so um you know that's something as well that you can use if you want to edit the audio separately you can use that as well otherwise you have your video ready to go and that's it if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.